I'm gonna show you how I bought it to a family and picked up this check at the exact same time. Stay tuned. Yo, what up guys? So that's right, I bought another two family. I actually closed on the property January 13th, but due to certain issues that I will explain in this video, I wanna show you guys exactly the property, how much I'll make, how much everything cost, and where I'm at currently in my real estate investment career. Now, before we jump into this video fully, I want to go ahead and again, pick the giveaway winner. We got about 30 comments this time, so we're gonna jump behind my computer, pick the winner, and then we'll get back into this video and I'll show you guys how I completed this deal. Not only picked up a two family that will profit me close to $1,000 per month, but also picked up an assignment check about for $3,375 as well. Let's get into the giveaway. All right, so now we're behind my computer and let's pick the winner. So this video has slightly more comments. Again, if you want to be entered into another giveaway, make sure to drop a comment on this video and be subscribed with your post notifications on. So we're going to take the link up here, go back to commentpicker.com, hit get YouTube comments, and start the pick. J Metch. Shout out to you, Jay Mitch. Go ahead and reach out to me, and I will send you your $20 with whatever your preferred payment method is. Let's get back into the video. All right, so before I actually get into the details of the property I bought, how much it costs, how much I'll be making, I want to quickly explain the level of finesse that I did inside of this deal to accomplish this assignment check. So as you can see, it's for January 27th, 2020 for $3,375. Now, I have a business partner that I work very closely with. We work very good together and we've been partnered up for close to seven years. Now, he's actually the one who bought this property. Now, what I did to gain and pull extra money or profit from the deal is I knew the seller, I knew who he was, and I basically acted like I didn't know the buyer even though the buyer is myself. It's just under my business partner's name. So I basically told the seller, which is called a joint venture deal, that I have a buyer that'd be interested in buying the property, and I asked if I would be able to get a commission or what the commission would be. In real estate wholesaling or in any real estate transactions or really any business transactions, if you're able to bring a seller or a buyer or if you're able to put a deal together that would no longer have not been possible if it wasn't for you, you deserve a commission. So I basically told the seller that I had a buyer, even though the buyer was me or my business partner, it's going under his name, but I will be um, eating off the cash flow. I basically told him that I have a buyer and I can bring the buyer to the table for referral. So I wanted to make sure that, you know, he didn't see this video. Um, I don't think he watches my channel, but I wanted to make sure that I secured the bag. I secured this um, percentage. It wasn't 50%, it was about a 30% commission of what the person who had it under contract, he wasn't the seller, but he had it under contract. Um, for the seller, he was another investor. He would have just sold it directly to my buyer, but I basically stuck my hand in the middle and intercepted $3,000. The seller got his money. The person who was representing the seller, um, another investor got their money. Um, me and my business partner got not only a two family cash flowing property, but we also picked up a nice little assignment deal. So there's a lot of finesse sometimes that comes to deals and you gotta know how to work it, talk to people, talk to attorneys, talk to title companies. Um, we didn't actually sign a contract with this, but I'm going to bring the investor that I, uh, you know, kind of got this check from uh, more deals. So even if he's seen this video, I don't think he would really be mad, but I wanted to make sure that I locked the bag in before I uploaded this video to YouTube. Now let's get into the exact details of the property. All right guys, so the only thing I'm really not gonna discuss is the exact loan details, what loan we use, just for personal reasons. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the property. It looks like a one family, but it's actually a two family. There is a first floor, and then if you go down the driveway, there's an upstairs. So I'll go over the numbers in a bit. I just wanna show you guys the property, and then I wanna show you guys the other properties that we currently have. So as you can see, this is it right here. So if you go down this and up there, that's the second unit. This is the first unit. This is a three bedroom up here. This is a one bedroom up here. Let me show you guys the two other properties. Actually, 
three other properties that we have. So this is the next property we have. We own this. These trees are no longer there. We cut them down. You might have seen that in a previous video of mine. But this is another property. We also own this lot which is zoned and approved to build a two family. So this will rent for around 800 to 1000 and then this two family will be uh, each unit will rent for close to 800 to 1000. Let me show you my two other properties as well. I also own this property and I also own this property. So very soon, now that we have acquired funding, we will be fixing up this property, this property, and the other vacant one you've seen as well as the vacant lot. So as you guys can see, I do have a few vacant properties, but how I look at it is I have them now. My only job is to fix them up. I have that two family, which is positively cash flowing. And in fact, Saturday, I'm going to pick up some rent, which is a really good feeling. And then I also have a six family under contract. So with these vacant ones, plus the two family, plus the six family, if that closes, I will be well over 10 units, which is really exciting because by the end of this year, I'm pushing for you know, 20, 25 units. Let's get into the numbers. So now let's get into the juicy part. Let's talk about the numbers and how much money I'll actually be making because I did not buy this property all cash. The property cost 125,000 and you're probably thinking, wow, that's insanely cheap. Well, this is the capital of New Jersey and everything in this market is very cheap. Now the mortgage payment every single month will be $1,103. That includes mortgage, taxes, and insurance. Whenever you're paying a mortgage on a property, they include all of that in there. The lender includes the property uh, taxes, the you know principal, the interest, and the uh, mortgage insurance or property insurance. So all um, expenses for the property every single month is 1,103. Now one tenant pays 700 and another tenant pays 900. So those rents are slightly low. Um, like I said, the city is way underdeveloped, but we will plan to raise the rents between like 30 and 100 hours. We don't want to raise them too high where they leave. These tenants have been here for a long time and there is a consistent volume of payment history. Whenever you're looking at a property that already has tenants in it, you want to look at not only the expenses of the property, how much it's going to cost you to basically sustain the, itself, but how often are the tenants paying? Are they missing payments? Are they backed up on rent? You want to look at the details. Don't just look at a property and say, oh, it has 10 tenants. Each thing, each tenant's paying a thousand dollars a month. I'm making 10,000. No, that's what I used to think. That's not the case. I'm going to show you guys another thing that can really help you break down how much a property is actually bringing in and how much you're actually putting in your pocket every single month. So that leaves us with $500 a month with cash flow. You have 700 plus 900, that's 1600 minus 1100, that is $500 a month in positive cash flow. I'm not even that good at math, but I was able to put deals like this together. And then we are working on different things like working on something in the backyard, building a garage where we think we can pull another maybe 800 to maybe, let's just say 500 to 1100 in additional monthly rent. That will just be in addition to the 500. So at very max, we probably could be making between, you know, 500 and 1500 dollars a month in positive cash flow. We just have to build up the garage, maybe even rent out the basement as a storage spot. But um, that's how much we'll be making every single month on the first. We'll get paid, and that's just another stream of income. Now let me show you guys how you can actually determine how much a property will make you in rent in positive cash flow. It's not just saying, hey. The property is 10 tenants, each tenant's paying $1,000 a month, I'm making $10,000 a month. What are the taxes, what is the mortgage, what is all that? You have to know exact numbers before you go out and buy and invest in a property or you could really screw yourself. All right guys, so before we end this video, I want to show you guys a tool that you can use to actually find out how much you're gonna be making in profit per month of a property. So you always see properties for sale and you'll see it having 10 units and they'll tell you, each unit is renting for $1,500 a month. So you're thinking $1,500 a month times 10 units, that's $15,000 a month going in my pocket. Wrong. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use a mortgage calculator. It's going to tell you all your expenses and then you can calculate rent rolls and you can figure out exactly how much you're going to profit. So for the property I bought, it was bought for $125,000 down. Um, let's say the down payment was 5%, the interest rate is 
the property tax for that property is fifteen hundred, and the home insurance for the year is twelve hundred. As you can see, we're buying it, and the credit rating is excellent. Calculate. So, like I told you, a few of these numbers are off just for my own personal privacy reasons, but this says that the payment per month with taxes, mortgage, insurance, all included, would be 834. I told you my actual monthly payment is around 1100, but this is what you're gonna to wanna to do. When you see a property that is for sale, you're gonna to want to come in here and put in the value, whether you're putting a dollar or percentage amount down, the interest rate, the loan term, the property tax, the home insurance, and you know your credit rating, and then it'll calculate an exact or a ballpark mortgage payment. So keep in mind, one tenant's paying 900, another tenant is paying 700 with a total rent rule of 1600, and it's calculating that our mortgage payment is around 900. So our monthly cash flow is actually around 500. This is saying it's a little higher, but this is what you're gonna to wanna to do anytime you see a multifamily. You want to calculate and tally up the total expenses before you start counting your pockets with the monthly positive cash flow.